Hi, this is Tim from labsofshutter.com and today I'm going to cover what to do if your Hisense TV is not connecting to Wi-Fi. So this is usually very easy to fix and uh, it should only take you a few minutes to get your TV back up and running again. There's 13 steps in all. I'm going to briefly cover all of them. You can look at the uh, article that's in the description of this video below and that will give you more details on each of the steps. So for most people, to fix a Hisense TV that's not connecting to Wi-Fi, you just need to, to reset your TV by power cycling it. So if you unplug it, hold down the power button on the TV for 15 seconds, then plug your TV back in after waiting for about a further 30 minutes. It should then connect to Wi-Fi for most people. If this doesn't work for you, then it's worth checking um, that your Wi-Fi is working on other devices. If it is, then it could be an issue with your TV's IP and DNS addresses. So if your IP address on your TV has been set to manual, then there could be a conflict between your TV and Wi-Fi router. So you press the settings button on your remote, you press the home button on your remote, then go to settings, network, network configuration, advanced settings and IP settings. If the IP setting mode is set to manual, change it to DHCP. If it's set to DHCP, then just try changing it to manual and change the DNS to 8.8.8.8. .8 uh, restart your TV and then try your, try your Wi-Fi again. For point three, you should also make sure that your Wi-Fi password is correct. Um, if you use WPS to connect your TV, then just try reconnecting but entering your password manually this time. Point four, you should check that your router is not set for MAC address filtering. So MAC address filtering means that even if you're, you have entered the password correctly for your router, if you don't have the MAC address of your TV input into your router, then it won't let you connect to the internet. So you have to log in to the, um, the admin IP for your router, which is usually something like 192.1.1.1 or .0 at the end. And you should do this from your phone, from just a browser on your phone or your computer. And have a look at um, advanced or expert settings and find Mac filtering and just make sure that is switched off. If your Hisense TV keeps disconnecting from Wi-Fi, then make sure there's no interference between your router and TV. It can be a bit hard to discover Wi-Fi interference, but you can try moving your TV as close to your router as possible. Um, try switching off any other devices that, that might affect it, that might generate uh, radio, radio interference. If you've got a device that works and does connect to your Wi-Fi and you can put it next to your TV, like your phone or something, then you can assume that your router's Wi-Fi signal is good and the problem is probably within your TV. So before we get into high hardware fixes, it's a good idea just to try updating your, your Hisense TV's firmware. You can do that. Um, so for smart Hisense TVs, they'll do over-the-air firmware updates. Um, just make sure that's switched on automatically. So press home on your remote. Um, go to the cog for settings, then support and system update and make sure auto firmware upgrade is enabled. If your TV doesn't have over the air support, then go into the press home, go to the cog icon for settings, then all about system update and click detect to check for updates. Um, if you've got an older Hisense TV, you might need to download it from the website and then install it onto a USB stick to, in, to install it manually on your TV. And you should probably contact Hisense support for this because um, it does depend on the model. You can also try resetting any connected Wi-Fi networks on your TV. Um, so to get into that, just press settings on your remote, go to general settings, network status and reset network and then try reconnecting to your Wi-Fi network. If your Hisense TV is not picking up 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, um, or if it's not connecting to the 2.4 gigahertz channel, 
then there could be some issue that's very hard to to determine with your your router. So the easiest way is just to switch your device um, to the other channel. So if you log into your router, so the 192.1.1.1, um, log in on your phone and then have a look in the devices and see if your TV is connected to 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. You can usually just change the, the frequencies that these channels broadcast on in expert settings or advanced settings and see if that makes a difference because it could just be there's some interference on one of those channels that's causing your TV not to connect. It's also possible that because routers, they assign IP addresses for a fixed period of time and they have a lease expiration date. It's usually several years in the future, but if the time and date on your TV is wrong, then that means that the um, lease for the ISP can expire and, uh, and so it won't properly connect to your router. So make sure your TV's time and date is correct. You can go into the settings and just manually update it if you need to. If none of this has worked, then just try factory resetting your, your Hisense. So for the smart TV, just go to Home, um, Settings, Device Preferences, Reset. And then you can go through Reset and Erase Everything. And that will reset your TV back to factory defaults. You can also reset your router, so there's usually... Uh, a little a little slot that you can put a paper clip in on the back of your router. So just hold that button down for about 10 seconds to fully reset your router. If none of that's worked, um, there's really only a hard hardware fixes left available. You can just try using an Ethernet cable, that's the, the easy solution. But if not, then you want to look at replacing the Wi-Fi module. So it does happen that these are little modules that um, connect to the Wi-Fi, they've got an aerial on and, um, and a few chips, uh, they can fail. They're only a few dollars to replace, so you can easily just get a new one off eBay. You'll have to take off the um, back of your TV and look at it, but there's more information on that in the article that's referenced below.